A lot of people have been raving about the new MacBook Pros recently. I was like, eh, what happens if I bought one? So, let's go shopping. All right, so, main features that people like about the new MacBook Pro is the touch bar that's on it. So right here, allows you to touch uh, and changes which applications. So let's go in and see what we're looking at. So a touch of genius. So touch bar, as I said, very thin, only four ports and a fifth one if you include the headphone jack. Very thin, very powerful, very light. You know, some people love this MacBook and some people hate it. So I, I don't own one yet, so I'm kind of on the fence. So if I was to buy one, the, so there's the 13 inch MacBooks. So at first we have this old school MacBook, which is from like a couple of years back. This one basically gives you everything you're familiar with. It has Thunderbolt, US, it has Thunderbolt USB, uh, HDMI, SD card, which is important if you make movies. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the new MacBook Pro. So if we go here, I want the 15 inch MacBook Pro because just two more inches, like I like big, but big and light, you know? So we're gonna go with 15 inch. Same options, except you only get the touch bar and then you get the older uh, MacBook Pros if you want. But I want the newest MacBook Pro. Um, and we can go up to 212, we'll select that. So we'll view what this MacBook looks like. Two ports, USB type C, which can practically do anything as long as you have dongles for it. If you don't have dongles for it, too bad. You can't do anything with this if you don't have dongles. Well, okay, you can do some, but you know, you need dongles. And headphone jack. Headphone jack is good. All right, so let's upgrade this, because if you're gonna buy a Mac, you might as well have the best Mac out there. So, to a 2.7, to a 2.9, two terabytes of SSD hard drive space, which is good. I like storing things on my computer. Upgrade. Do I need Final Cut Pro or Logic Pro? No, I already have them. All right, so right now, if I say add to bag, that's gonna be $4,300. That's just for the MacBook. No dongles, no nothing else. But as I said, if you're going to get a MacBook, you might as well go all out. So we'll add that to the bag. All right. So Apple Care. Apple Care is extremely important because instead of breaking your computer and having to pay $4,300 again, which is really bad, all you have to pay is $349. And you get a three year warranty. All right, so we'll add that to the bag. All right, as I was saying about dongles, you need dongles because everything right now is USB and they're trying to turn everything to USB type C, which is faster, better. The only problem is you need dongles, a connection. You need something that can connect to USB C on the one side and connect to whatever you have on the other side. So right here, this cable right here will connect USB to USB type C. So I can use my normal USB cables. I also need to find somewhere an SD card reader so I can use SD cards, these little guys. So I'm gonna have to find one of those. I'm not going to do that today. I can connect my camera directly from the cable, which is USB, and I'll connect it to this cord, which is USB Type-C to USB, so I'm good. All right, I also need Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is good because Thunderbolt connects to everything. Well, not everything. Thunderbolt is good. Uh, if you have an iPhone, and you don't want to be carrying around another dongle, just buy this cable, lightning to USB-C, so you can plug it directly into your computer. Ethernet adapter. All right, so this MacBook Pro, the new one, it has the capacity to work with two 5K displays. This Mac right here is a one 5K display. It's a 5K, but it's just one. So. Uh, this little computer, 15 inch computer, which is about the size of this little guy, whoa. Which is about the same size as this computer right here, can power two of these. Yeah, right there. Two of those. Wow. 
So I don't need two 5K displays, but I want like I would like to have a three display setup. One my Max in the middle, and two displays on each side. I don't need two 5K, so I can do a 4K and a 5K. So I'm going to do that. 5K check. 4K check. If you're going to have a desktop setup with this, because that's what I'm going for, you need a mouse and a keyboard. So here's a Magic Mouse. I love the Magic Mouse too, because it doesn't have batteries. You just charge it with a lightning cable. So we're going to add that. And I'm also going to add this extender, because who knows when you'll need it. Doo -doo -doo. All right, this, this cable gives me HDMI, so I can actually connect to TVs with an HDMI cable connected to this cable connected to my computer. So add the bag. All right, so I think I have everything except a keyboard. So I need to buy a keyboard. Accessories. Made by Apple. Ooh, AirPods. Keyboard right there. And add to bag. All right, so you saw that before I added any of this, the computer itself was around $4,000 plus. So I've just added a whole bunch of toys that you don't really need. Um, so yeah, let's see how much this will actually cost us. $7,009.19. You know I said, if you're gonna go with an Apple computer, go big. That's pretty big. If I had $7,000 just laying around, yeah, I'd buy it. Do you need all this stuff? No. All you need really is just a few dongles of your choice and this whole computer setup will work just fine for you. You don't need everything I just added here. I added two displays, which is not necessary. If you have your own display, you can connect it with that, with adapters. All you need is the MacBook, Apple Care, and just the few dongles of your choice. And that's pretty much it, you're set. I've added a whole bunch of toys to this, which made it $7,000. So don't get discouraged by that. And this computer will have to last me a long time. A lot of people upgrade regularly, just like their phone. I wouldn't do this setup if you are planning on doing that. Just get a cheap MacBook Pro, maybe that one without the touch bar. That was a, a lot less expensive. Or even go with the older generation MacBook Pros that gives you the HDMI port already built in, USBs, and everything right there. So. We wanted to see how much this Mac cost, and we did. So thank you so much for shopping with me. Uh, if you liked it, thumbs up. If you want to follow for more, subscribe. And if you have any ideas of what I should shop for next, just leave those in the comments. Like, yeah, let's have fun with it. So see you later. Bye.